NBC News President Noah Oppenheim is pushing back against Ronan Farrow's claims about the network in his explosive new book, Catch and Kill. Farrow's book, Catch and Kill, Lies, Spies, and a Conspiracy to Protect Predators, which will be released on Tuesday, details NBC's alleged secret payouts and how Matt Lauer's alleged indiscretions may have played a role in the network's decision to kill Farrow's Weinstein expose that the reporter had originally planned to take to NBC, but eventually published in The New Yorker. NBC News Chairman Andy Lack initially fired back in a staff memo, saying Farrow uses a variety of tactics to paint a fundamentally untrue picture. Farrow then responded with an interview with Good Morning America, where he stood by his reporting and reiterated that the book was extensively fact-checked. But now, Noah Oppenheim is stepping in to respond in detail to Farrow's book. On Monday, one day before the book's release, the NBC News president told his staff in a memo calling Lauer's actions abhorrent and emphasizing the anger and sadness the former Today Show host's actions have caused. In the memo obtained by The Hollywood Reporter, Oppenheim goes on to say, Ronan Farrow's book takes that undeniable fact and twists it into a lie, alleging we're a company with a lot of secrets. We have no secrets and nothing to hide. He continues saying, Farrow alleges there were employees who reported Lauer's behavior prior to November of 2017 and were paid settlements to silence them. Not only is this false, the so-called evidence Farrow uses in his book to support the charge collapses under the slightest scrutiny. The note goes on to share the internal analysis made by the NBCU legal team, stating that they found only three examples that Farrow alleges are Lauer-related before 2017. But the note adds that it involves employees who by their own admission made no complaints to management and whose departure agreements were unrelated to Lauer and completely routine. Those three examples were in reference to a woman who in the book, Farrow says, shared the account of her incident with then-anchor Ann Curry, an on-air personality who departed in 2012, and a senior member of the Today Show team who departed in 2017 with an alleged seven-figure payout. Oppenheim goes on to say, I feel absolutely terrible that these three employees were subjected to Matt Lauer's horrific behavior, but the facts do not support Farrow's allegation of a cover-up, and he offers no further evidence. Farrow responded to Oppenheim's six-page memo during an appearance on CBS This Morning, saying, Look, this book is an extraordinarily meticulously fact-checked work of investigative journalism. It's two years of reporting. One of the senior fact-checkers at The New Yorker checked it. I'll let the reporting in the book stand on its own. We're very confident in it. For more ongoing updates to the story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.